Hey guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create gradient overlapping text effect with reflection in Canva. If you guys are new to Guide Infinity, if you could give us a like and a subscribe, that would be amazing. Cool, okay, so let's jump into it. So as you can see, we are in canva.com and we've got a blank template in front of us. What we're gonna do is come over to the left-hand side and we're going to click on apps. We are then going to search apps and we are going to write in type gradient. So if we just give that a type, hit enter amazing and this is the app that we want so we're just going to give that a click and then we are going to type in our word so i'm going to type in the word guide as we are called guide infinity so i'm happy with the font anton and then i'm just going to change the gradient color here so i'm going to go for sort of a a pink to um sort of like an orangey color, I think. So we're gonna hit that middle one and then I'm gonna make that a little bit more of a brighter pink. And then if we do this end one, and then I'm gonna do a sort of more orange color. Perfect, love it, amazing. And then if you come down here and then if you press add to design, amazing. So that looks brilliant, really, really good. Loving it, loving it guide amazing okay and then if you come up to the top right press share we're going to download this we want to have it as a png with a transparent background and then click download that is now going to go to our downloads and then we can just drag it here drag it to our uploads so we're now going to grab a new template so we're just going to click this plus here and then at the bottom you can see we are just going to delete this page so if we click on our guide text amazing that looks great and then what we're going to do is we're going to now add a background so if we come up to the top and then we're going to make this black just to really pop out which i think looks fabulous amazing okay and then what we want to do is we want to copy each letter individually so what we're going to do is just make that smaller amazing we're then going to hit this duplicate button brilliant okay and then we're just going to work through each letter within the guide word do that move it across okay so do the i Perfect. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to line this up and then you want to bring each letter in and then kind of overlap slightly. Um, but obviously we want them all lined up. Um, it's great. So let's do this. Okay. Also, if you sort of drag over you've sort of highlighted each letter and then you can move it to however you want which is great okay now we want to make sure that the layers of each letter is in the correct format so if you click on a letter and if you right click and we're then going to press layer and then we're going to do show layers so we want our e to be at the top we want d to be next we want i and then you, so we've got guide, so it's sort of spelling it. So it's kind of done like going backwards type thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to create the effect on each letter. So if we right click on the letter, so if we click on the letter and then if we press edit image, what we're gonna do is come to this shadows here. We're going to go for a drop effect and then we're going to do, click on left, we're going to do offset maximum, transparency maximum, and blur maximum as well, and press apply. And what you wanna do is you wanna go through each letter and apply the same effect on each one. amazing okay doesn't that look awesome so now what we want to do is we want to come up to the top right and we're going to download this so we're going to press the download png and then download amazing as that's downloading we then want to grab it here we go grab it and then pop it here into our uploads 
Perfect. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new page so we can delete that first one. Great. Okay. And then we want to grab our guide word and we're just going to, that's it, just sort of size it up. Amazing. And then what we're going to do is we are going to, I might lower that a bit, we're then going to press duplicate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it vertically. There we go. And then you just want to minimize this gap. So this is just for that, like, you know, really cool sort of mirrored effect that we're going to do. And then you just want to position it so that it's completely uh, lines up exactly just to really get that effect um, of that mirrored reflection look perfect that looks so dramatic so you could always like bring it down if you want to so what's great is this is just so up to you you know how you do this um perfect awesome loving that okay and then if we come over to elements and then what we're going to do is we are going to type in gradient and then we want to click on this here and then this is just going to really help the dramatics and the effect so we're going to lower that and then i'm going to add another one there you go i think that looks so cool and then you can just like lower that so it's showing that word amazing and there we go that is how to create a gradient overlapping text effects with reflection in canva i really hope that you guys found this video useful if you could give us a like and a subscribe that would be amazing and i will catch you guys in the next one